Okay, how you guys doing? Um, as you can see, I am finished the procedure. Uh, it took a while. I mean, we got in there. It's it's like seven o'clock now. Um, we got into the OR probably like twelve thirty or something. I really can't remember. I don't know how long the procedure went on for. I haven't asked. Um, but in recovery, like waking up and stuff, I, I know it took me a lot longer than the last time because I was like, why am I here? I wasn't like, why am I here? But I'm like, did I just have a procedure done that I asked for? Like, I kept on thinking it had something to do with mycology. Like, am I modified to be a better mycologist? That's literally going through my head. Um, or was this something that was like mandatory, like so that I could have a life? And they were like, it's the second. They were like, you know, you had a sexectomy and laminectomy, the operative one there, literally, um, because you were in great pain, you couldn't do things and stuff. And, and I was like, okay, gotcha. But I had to be have that explained a few times to me, like in my head, I had to keep piecing the puzzle together to be like, this is what's going on. It just took me longer than ever to come out of it this time, uh, to wake up more than it's ever been in the past, probably because I wasn't getting any sleep for days and days and days and days. So uh, then, uh, you know, they brought me to my room. You know, I'm, I'm skipping a lot of stages here. There was a guy that he was a crucial, crucial point um, of my waking up and becoming coherent. So hats off to you, dude. Thanks for being there for me and helping me along the way. Um, thanks to everybody else who's been helping me so far. Uh, there was just a shift change, so Misty's going to be taking care of me for the rest of the night. Um, I got this beautiful, oh my god, this dinner. Salmon, I'm, I'm, I decided, I said that I would start dieting from now on after having those cheese steaks and stuff, which you'll see. Um, I'm only allowed to have, allow myself fish or boneless, skinless chicken for the next several days because, you know, it's important. Um... And so I have, my back hurts. It feels like it's all cut up. Like I've had some big incisions. I've got this disc and it inflates. That's all blood and stuff coming out of my wounds. So it's no joke. This is the real deal. I mean, it's, this is actually something pretty significant. And when I was relieving myself, because I had to move, I can't just lay there and I'm not a cartoon, you know? I, I'm 44 years old. The stream is, it's not like Ghostbusters where, anyway, so uh, I had to rotate so that I could fill my special vessel, which I hope isn't in the camera view. And uh, through doing so, I unhooked this and then this thing went whoosh, poof, and all this blood went into like, uh, it wasn't gross, but I'm just like, I messed something up. How do I explain this? Because they're like, why did you move? And I'm like, I had to. Otherwise, I would have watered myself. Literally, it would have all just come back on top of me. Because at the position I was originally in, I was holding the thing above me. It doesn't work that way. So, yeah. Um, I got a lot of blood coming into this from my wounds and my back. And all this other good stuff. I'll keep you guys maybe up to date. I'm not going to do as many posts now. But, um, yeah, I'm a lot more sore than I thought I would be. But I also feel a lot better. It's just, I just feel like I got shot or, or scraped or cut up. Um, and I've got a bunch of open wounds in the back. That is far more comfortable than the god-awful pain I was in before. Um, okay. Uh, that's a very long video for now. Um, Chris Ignato, I'll talk to you a little later. Sorry about this, but it's part of a story. I gotta stay with the commitment because I started it. I gotta follow through with it since I usually do not follow through with my video series every time I start a video series. Talk to you later.